president of the world. What a preposterous idea. It's always been said of the president of the United States that um, anybody who wants that particular job should be disqualified because he's obviously mad. of the world. So that is such a good question also. My vote is for Paul Kagame, the president of Rwanda. He's a very bright man who has led his country out of hell. Bloody hell. I don't think I'd like to live in a world in which there'd be one single president, but uh, uh, if there could be, I suppose it would be Jesus Christ. <laughs> president of the world, eh? For me, I vote in God. Buddha? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mahomet. <laughs> God, I can't. I mean, it's very interesting how few good leaders there are. An interesting idea would be to have somebody who wasn't a politician. The first name that comes to mind is something like Albert Einstein. Alice Cooper. Thelonious Monk in abstention. Or Mick Jagger. If it has to be a living person, I'd vote for Bob Dylan. I think it should be a musician. Uh, I once sat in a dinner with the American, the head of American Expre Express, and the head of American Express said, they asked me to name five leaders in the world that I admired. And this was two years ago. I couldn't think of one. I think about uh, Mother Teresa. Mahatma Gandhi. The Dalai Lama. <laughs> I'm a big fan of him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it would be a very peaceful world. But if I was to, I'd probably think out of the box, and I'd probably say I'd go for Seamus Heaney. The United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Louis Arbour. Without any doubt. Uh, Kofi Annan. Or Mary, whatever her name is, the uh, Irish president. Um, Mary, what is her name? Dwayne and the Pooh, for instance. I would say someone like Brad Pitt. Or maybe even David Beckham. Well, Bill Clinton wouldn't make a bad president of the world. President Jimmy Carter. At the moment, George Bush. Al Gore would make a good president of the world. Because we have the terrorism, I think George Bush is one of the most strongest people against the terrorism. I think it's very dangerous to have as presidents or leaders intelligent people. Since this would have been a ceremonial post, my requirements would have been fully aesthetic. It should be a gentle idiot. I think you should vote for... Um characteristics rather than people and the leader of the world has to be tolerant more than anything he has to be uh, forgiving he has to be very clear uh, in his thoughts and his visions so there's only one man really of course Nelson Mandela the world well um... I think uh, Nelson Mandela, although he's a bit old. The pity is old now, but I'd still say Nelson Mandela. Well, I think like most people, the only politician I can think of that I would trust in that job would be Nelson Mandela, that we won't have him for long. Well, it's easy to say Mandela because he has these, the, the strength that grows out of suffering his way into power and not scheming his way into power. He has the moral authority, he has the believability. Because you need people who can forgive. You need people who are not revengeful. You need people who care and who are passionate. And people who, who really care for humanity and not care for themselves. It's very unthinkable that there should be one precedent for the world so I and, and there is certainly isn't anyone that springs to mind it would be such a huge job that I don't know if anyone's properly qualified for it to be totally honest I'd be interested to see who wanted to do it eu sempre procuro saber quem quer ser presidente do mundo defino bem aquela pessoa e voto pelo adversário president of the world is someone who would have absolute power and the trouble is that we know that absolute power tends to go to people's heads. 
after a while and begins to impair their judgment. I'm a Christian and the Bible talks about one world government and a one world leader which is Antichrist, so... One of the advantages of democracy is that there are many of them. Nations are firewalls, like bulkheads in a ship. In case an area floods, the whole ship doesn't flood. I think that um, the world's problems can best be tackled by national governments um, working together. If there was just one precedent for the world, I think I would be for a revolution.